Welcome to CCS Quick Tips. In the last Quick Tip, I introduced how to use the Trace Visualization Toolkit to collect and visualize core trace data. If you have not seen that Quick Tip yet, I suggest starting with that one first before watching this one. Please see a description below for a link to that Quick Tip. For this Quick Tip, I will cover how to collect and visualize code profiling and coverage data. Under the Tools, Code Analysis menu, I will select the second option to capture trace data for the purpose of code profiling and coverage. In the Code Profiling and Coverage tab, there are three sections. Overview will display a list of all previous profile runs. I can also configure traits for new profile runs. The profile and coverage parts will display the profiling and coverage data for the selected profile run. Since I have no previous run selected, these are currently blank and empty. Back to the overview, I will create a new run. When I press the button to do so, these familiar looking options that we saw in the previous quick tip will appear again. Again, let's use triggers to enable and disable trace collection uh, for the desired addresses. Optionally, we can provide a description for this run. Then I can hit OK at the bottom to start the trace session and then run the program. Now the program is running and again, I can see the LED blink. It should blink five times before halting. And once the program has finished running and the target is halted at the exit point, the captured trace data in the ETB will be sent to CCS, and I will see an entry for that profile run in the overview. You can see my under the comments profile run one. Pressing the gear button will show additional details for that run, and in this case, the triggers that were set. Now when the entry is selected, there will be data displayed in the profile and coverage views. Profile will show various profiling data, such as cycle counts and the percentage of time spent running code for that file, functions, and even for each source line. At the line level, you can see how many times the instructions associated with each line was executed. Coverage focuses on displaying code coverage information. Because we use triggers to only collect trace data for a small range of addresses, the coverage data can be a bit tricky to look at. Here, we can see that 100% for the first two files indicate that the coverage for all the functions that were executed in the file when trace was enabled was 100%. For the last file, we only see 5%. If we break it down to the function level, we can see that only the GPIO LED blink main function is visible. When we break down that function to the line level, 
we can see that only line 66 and 68 have any coverage. This makes sense since we set our triggers to only collect trace data on line 66 and 68. Hence, this explains the 5% value. Again, it should be noted that with the limited size of the ETB, getting comprehensive profiling and coverage data for the entire application can be challenging. However, it can still be very useful to collect such data for specific sections of code that are critical for performance. Thank you for watching this quick tip, and have a good day.